Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, me and Miriam decided to do a three look collab using the new Kat Von D anniversary palette. We're super excited about this. Um, I'm really enjoying this palette. It's super gorgeous. Packaging always gets me, always. But just look at that. It's so pretty. I'm, I'm really loving this green over here and this one and this blue. Uh, you'll you'll see that in the tut tutorials because I use the green at least twice. Sorry, not sorry. But anyways, don't forget to check out Marianne's videos. I'm going to link hers below so you can watch hers too. And let's get on into it. Okay, so the first shades I'm going into are going to be Nancy and Egypt, which is Nancy and then right above it is no, not Egypt. It's Ashley. Yes. Those two. And then Nancy, I'm just taking on the outer part of the crease. And then Ashley is going in the inner part. Just kind of mixing those two. Alright, now for the next shade, I'm going to be taking Alexandra, which is this really pretty teal color, and then um, that's going on my lid, and then I'm going to blend it up with the shade above it, which is Malice. Okay, and then I'm going to take that malice shade and just blend out that edge that teal shade I'm going to go back into that teal and just bring that back alright now I'm going to take a sticky base and very gently I'm going to pat it over the lid just keeping it like on the lower part then I'm going to dip my brush into the shade Adele which is this really beautiful green which I have been dying to use And I'm just going to place that all over where I put that sticky base. Like that. Now for the inner corner highlight, since there's not much to choose from, I'm just going to take that cream, the lightest color in the palette, and use it for my inner corner highlight. I'm also using it on the brow bone. Alright, now I think I'm just going to put mascara on and call it good for the eyes because they are killing me right now being watery and they're already not liking what I just did, so. Fairly simple and straightforward, nothing too crazy. Okay, so for look number two, I'm going to be doing this very fall like look but I really wanted to use that gold because it looks gorgeous and it is gorgeous so these are the colors that I used I first went into what is this went into the shade is that the shade I went into? no that is not the shade I wanted to I went into the shade Sarah which is this one right there and I just stuffed that one in the crease. Kind of building up that color on the outer part. All right, then the next shade I went into is this really pretty army-like green right here. That one is called Malice. And this one is just stuck on the 
outer corner and then brought it up into the outer crease. And then just blended it throughout. Sorry about the sun, guys. It's early and it's like the only time I could get to do this today, so. So basically I'm just blending it throughout the crease. Then I'm going to go back into that Sarah shade and just blend that over top so those two kind of mingle a bit better. Alright, then I'm going to go into this shade called Chad, I think. and pop that on the brow bone and also blending out those crease colors with it. Okay, then I'm gonna go back into Sarah and bring that color back just a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to go into the shade next to that army green shade called Ashley. And it's like a, I don't even know what color you would call this, but it's like a yellowish shade. And I'm just going to place that all over the rest of the open lid, using it as like a background for that gold. Alright, now I'm going to put a sticky type base over top. Just so the gold has something to really stick to. Now let that dry for a bit. Then I'm just going to use my finger and go right into the gold shade and that one is called let's see Gina I think it's really pretty gold I normally do not like golds on me but this color is really pretty so basically I'm just applying that everywhere where I put the sticky base then I'm going to go into that matte cream color again and, and I'm going to place it on the inner corner just because there is no other highlight really. So that'll do. Now all that's left is liner, mascara, and then I did like this little glittery type almost like a liner but not really because it's really blown out but yeah so all right for liner I'm using the NYX matte liquid liner which I am in love with this liner it is amazing and it's cheap so I'm gonna try to get this on camera where you can see it Alright, now for our mascara, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Perversion. And then all I did on the lower lash line was just applied this um, Urban Decay liner in Roach. My eyes have been hating me lately, so I just try to keep it really simple. The lower lash line. The weather here has been horrendous. Like, they're saying it's supposed to be 106 next week, and I'm just like, what? I feel like I'm in hell, you guys. Literally. <laughs> okay. So, last but not least is the glitter liner-ish type thing. I'm using Glamourdell Eyes' glitter, and this is Hold My Champagne, 
which was part of the uh, glitter of the month type thing where you it's like every other month but yeah it's a really pretty pink kind of champagne -y. I love this glitter okay so basically all I did for that was just applied a smidge of Glamorizes glitter glue. I need some more because it's all dried up. I just applied glitter glue kind of in the best line that I could. It's clear so you really can't see it. And then I just went in with the glitter. Trying not to make a huge mess which trust me is very hard. To do. I really hate the shape of my eyes because this one there's more lid and this one's more like hooded so it's really hard to do stuff like this but I try anyways Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get, so yeah. Let me zoom up so you can see the eyeballs. That is the second look using the Kat Von D palette. I'm really loving this palette, you guys. Like, the, I've never really been like upset with any of her palettes except for the star studded one. That one really sucked. But all the other ones I adore. And this one is definitely, yeah, definitely adore it too. Packaging, as always, I adore all of her packaging. And the formula is just super nice. So I'm excited to see what I'm going to be picking tomorrow for my look. I'm definitely going to be using that duochrome glittery shade for sure. So, yeah. Okay, first color I am going into is this shade called Nancy, and that's just going in the crease. I think it's funny how on like all of the ones that I have done, <laughs> I'm staying mostly like on this side and out. I don't know. I just, I'm really liking these. And once you get that down, I'm going to go into this green shade, which is going in the inner part of the lid. And then down here, I'm going to go in with this shade, and it's going to go on the outer part. And these are basically just going to be like base shadows. I am really loving this blue. I'm gonna bring this one up a little bit into the crease as well. And then just kind of mingle those two together. Not that it really matters because, like I said, they're just base, base shadows. So I'm gonna blend that out. bring it up a little bit higher just a word of warning if you did get this palette the blue I noticed does have some fallout which is totally fine I just accidentally did my foundation first I don't know why don't ask okay now I'm gonna go in with a glitter glue sticky type base any kind of sticky type base will do and I'm just gonna put that over the entire lid just really gently because you don't want to shift around the base shadows then I'm gonna let that dry for just a few seconds okay and I'm gonna go into this shade that I have been talking about I've been wanting to use which this one is called let's let's see four over it is called Catherine two Catherine two. There's like a little two beside it. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to just take that and place that all over the lid. 
This color is really pretty. Now I'm going to go in with the lightest shade in the palette and use that on my brow bone. Kind of blend out those edges. Then I'm going to go into this shade over here, this shimmery, glittery pink actually, it's called Carolyn. And I'm going to place that one on the inner corner. Alright, now for basically all that's left is liner and mascara. I'm going to use this electric blue liner from NYX. Then I'm going to clean up that wing because it's really messy. Alright, and then mascara, I'm just using this Bella Pierre. I'm not even sure. It came in a um, boxy charm. That is pretty much it for this eye look. This is the third. I think it kind of gives a cool effect using the blue and the green on the lid under it. But yeah. Alright guys, that is it for this little mini tutorial-ish collab <laughs> don't forget to check out Miriam's videos I'm really excited to see what she's come up with I'm wondering if this time we will actually do something similar hopefully we will because yes but anyways um if you bought this palette to let me know what you think about it I'm really enjoying it it's really nice quality I've never really been like disappointed with any of her stuff though so and yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you all soon